I welcome the member for Vancouver Fairview. Thank you, Honourable Speaker, and I think pride is uh, the right word to use about how many of us will feel about uh, having the opportunity to speak to and, and vote for this uh, very important bill. Uh, let me begin uh, my comments, which uh, won't be lengthy. There will be many others who want the opportunity to speak by, uh, first of all, expressing uh, great appreciation and respect for my colleague from Vancouver West End, who has been a champion of this and other issues for many, many years, uh, with great integrity, with, uh, uh, you know, with, uh, with love in his heart, with uh, a clear understanding and appreciation for what such a change in the Human Rights Act would mean uh, for, uh, for transgendered people. He's been very clear in his expression of that, and I, I think uh, the fact that it won't show in Hansard, but perhaps I, it will if I mention it, that uh, members on both sides of, of this House uh, gave the member uh, a standing ovation at the end of his remarks. Well deserved, and, and actually uh, a measure of appreciation and respect that uh, we don't show enough in this chamber, perhaps uh, as time moves on and we learn uh, other ways of more collaboratively designing uh, legislation and listening to each other, we might see more of that in the future. Uh, I would certainly welcome that. I think many British Columbians uh, would as well. Uh, I've learned a lot from, uh, from my uh, friend, the MLA for uh, Vancouver West End. Uh, on this issue, on, uh, on pride, on, uh, on the challenges uh, and the rights uh, for gays, lesbians, transgendered people, uh, queer people. He has taught all of us in our caucus who haven't lived these challenges personally uh, what they mean and what we can do about it as allies. And for that, I want to thank him and express uh, deep appreciation. I think all British Columbians uh, owe the member uh, a thank you. I know many people joining us in the gallery today will uh, have expressed uh, those thanks to uh, the member directly, uh, others who aren't able to be with us today but who will be impacted, whose lives will be made better by this bill, uh, will and have expressed that appreciation to him. But uh, today marks the fifth time this member has been able to speak to a bill to extend uh, protections for uh, gender identity and gender expression in the Human Rights Act. But today is the first time he has been able to do it at second reading, and that is a significant event, uh, not so much for him, but certainly for the people who will be beneficiaries of this change. Because while I think we've all been clear the protection is there, as the member has said, some people need to see it clearly in writing to know it's there, whether on the, they're the recipients of discrimination or whether they're the discriminators. Uh, I will say, Honourable Speaker, that earlier um, this year at a luncheon uh, that was sponsored by Out on Screen, Out on Schools, I had the opportunity to really hear firsthand, very directly, in a, in a very clear and moving way, uh, what it's like to be a young person in school struggling with gender identity, becoming clear about uh, what that person's gender identity is, and then uh, living with the challenges of talking to family, talking to schoolmates, talking publicly. Uh, the student who brought that home is True Wilson, uh, and she, uh, she gave a very moving speech. It was a, a very articulate speech. It was a speech she wasn't necessarily expecting to have to give at this, uh, at this luncheon, but I think everybody in the room was moved everybody's understanding was deepened, uh, and perhaps um, part of the result of that deepening understanding may be the fact that we see today a change in the government's uh, position that these amendments were not necessary, which uh, we heard all too often in the past. Uh, we disagreed with it, and, and therefore it is good. It is a good day today to see the government uh, recognize that the change is needed, uh, to bring it forward, to uh, include my colleague from Vancouver West End in, in the announcement, 
uh, and give us all today the opportunity as we've had throughout the day as we had this morning to stand on the steps of the legislature. When we were uh, in the pre-photo period, we had a chance, many of us, to, uh, to mingle, to uh, talk to some of the trans people who were invited to attend, to, uh, to be part of the celebration of this, uh, this historic change in legislation in British Columbia, and to feel, to feel uh, I hope joy isn't too strong a word, but uh, to feel their, their excitement, their, their joy, their affirmation at being here today to finally see uh, their human rights fully and explicitly validated in legislation in this amendment, in this bill that will result in protection of gender identity and gender expression in the Human Rights Act. Long overdue. Whether or not that protection is there, it is important. It is important messaging to tell people that they are full humans, that they have full human rights, and that discrimination, violence will not be accepted. Uh, this bill alone, this, uh, this act when it's amended, will not be enough to stop all the violence. It won't be enough to stop all the hatred, and we'll have a lot more work to do. Uh, we know through our experience that many uh, prohibited grounds of discrimination within the Human Rights Act do not stop, in every case, uh, some people in our society from discriminating, from gay bashing, from violence, from uh, firebombing in some cases, uh, as we've seen uh, uh, in synagogues and in other cases. But it does make it clear that we, who are elected to set the legislation that guides the province, to some extent are elected to lead, are saying we are taking this step to make sure nobody is under any illusion that this form of discrimination is acceptable or will be going forward. We need to do more in terms of enforcement. We need to do more in terms of education. We need to do more in terms of reaching out. We need to do more in terms of supporting. And we need to do more in marching and standing with trans people to ensure that this change today has full and ongoing meaning and really becomes a transformative change uh, for our society. I'll simply close by thanking uh, not all of the people who have been, uh, been part of advocating for this change, because let's be clear, this change is coming today as an act of uh, this legislature because of incredible courage and advocacy uh, by the Trans Alliance Society, by many individuals in the community who have said, we will not rest until our rights are fully protected, just as gays and lesbians before them said, we will not rest till our rights are fully protected, till our sexual expression is no longer illegal, and until we have protections from violence and hatred. The Trans Alliance Society, uh, Marie Little, uh, Adrian Smith, the group out on screen, a number of unions who have uh, been active in their support over the years, Morgan Auger, uh, the Pride Society, I've mentioned True Wilson. I hope some of my colleagues will mention some of the people that I've forgotten because I certainly not my intention to be uh, in any way uh, exclusionary or leave anyone out. But, uh, these are the groups and individuals that come to mind because uh, they've been strong advocates or I, I've seen them today. Uh, let me close by saying uh, it was frustrating to repeatedly sit in this house and, uh, and listen to my colleague from Vancouver West End articulate so clearly the need for this amendment and to hear the answers come uh, from the government side that it wasn't necessary. But today is not a day of frustration. Today is a day where I am, uh, I am happy to see a bill before us that we can uh, wholeheartedly support. It may be overdue, but it is here, and that's what counts. Uh, the, uh, the support from people on the other side of, of the House, whether it's uh, by standing to recognize and appreciate the efforts of, uh, of my colleague or to stand in support of the bill, 
are appreciated and we're happy to stand together on this bill today and with that I will take my place. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Thank you, Member.